Right, sequel here. Um, I I don't want to say um, but yeah. Uh, I got a new Z plus because the old one broke, and the old one's not done work. Even with the last down, done work. You don't even hear the uh, the gas release. This one you can. So I'm gonna dissect this and. You're welcome to come along on the trip. So here I go. First of all, I've had this for 10 years, and I love the Z+. Plus. It is so reliable. $10, $10, not 10 years, $10, and it lasted a full year. So, first of all, that part is loose, a lot looser. You can actually see the gap compared to the new one that I just got today. It still is loose, but not as loose. So over the years, it has loosened up. We'll find out. First of all, I'll take that part off just to see what's in here. And it just spins. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. It's coming out. Cool. So I get to learn what's in here. That was probably dumb. So, that let you know that there's still gas in there. That was embarrassing, but pretty awesome. That was really cold. <laughs> Damn. I look like an idiot, but who cares? I'm going to take this part off. <laughs> Can't believe that happened. I look like an idiot. But, yeah. I'll take this part off. See what this is like. Scared the shit out of me. Uh, I don't know. I love the Z Plus. Usually, the last couple of days I didn't have it. I mean, last couple weeks and months I didn't have my Z Plus. I just felt so un at ease. Felt like I was naked because I had to carry a regular Zippo, and that's not as as good. And then I had to carry some Remy Martin Zippo, which is, for, no, not Remy Martin, Butane Lighter, which is from, uh, what is it, uh, uh, Victor or something like that? Not that good, so, taking this thing off. You can hear it. It strips. It's not coming out. So I guess... You know what, I'm just going to take it off by hand, like this. It's completely loose, like you can see it. But I don't know how to take this apart. Damn. Maybe if I just poke this end. Oh, there you go. Poke that end, it's coming out. Oh, oh, it's... You can barely see the threads. Open it up. So usually there's right here. It goes in right here. And it feeds right in there. This little thing. I'll get my flashlight for you guys. Hopefully it's not too bright. This little piece fits in that little hole. Right there, that little little tube. So that's pretty cool. And uh I wanna squeeze it but I don't want to get electrocuted. So, just put it in here, so I can get it in. You can see the little spark. Damn it, how do you do this? Well, I should have showed you the spark before, but it makes a spark. And then there's this thing. This pushes down. And it's right here. So like that, it pushes down. And it pushes this, releasing the gas. 
Oh, here's a little thing. Where is this? Oh, no, that's from the screw. So it's basically like this. It's not working anymore because I have to fucking take it apart, but... Now you know what's inside AZ+. Plus. Pretty cool. I could use it for parts, but... Probably not. And you can see a little spring inside. You can see a little spring inside. And all that other stuff. So, that's my little dissection of the Z Plus insert. I hope you enjoyed. And, um... Yeah, cool little video. I still feel like I look like a little bitch when I unscrewed that piece and it blew up. But yeah, later. By the way, um, this piece is... No, it's not metal, but it's like alloy something. It's, it's what's giving the Z-Plus all the weight. Just a little FYI. Took off a little button. And this looks like that. So button on here like this and because this is on there like so it can't go down all the way there's a little screw that attaches a little screw that attaches right here but yeah that's about it board got a new z plus throw this one away so i thought i'd get a squeeze a video out of it